Hey guys, it's Selwan here, and today we are talking about add-ons and my preferred UI right on BFA's launch day. Now, as most videos of this type, I'm going to talk about all the add-ons that I use in WoW and that I recommend, including, of course, my UI as well, that has always been highly requested. Now, let's just start with what UI I used. This one you've probably seen in all of my previous class guides, the very popular LV UI. You can find the links to all of these add-ons in the description since LVY you cannot get from the Twitch slash curse app along with my profiles both in code form or my entire add-on folder whichever you prefer. Just remember with the folder you might not get the profiles anyway so you're gonna need the code. All of that said, LVY has been my preferred UI all through Legion. It's quite minimalistic and adds a more modern look to WoW and can change uh, everything from your action bars, raid frames, party frames, to the chat, uh, quest logs and character panel. I for one like some aspects of the classic UI, so I turn off most of the skins on this tab here. Uh, this is something that does not get saved when you use my profile, by the way, so you need to do it manually if you so wish. But I pretty much uh, disable every skin as I solely want LVY to replace my action bars and frames. One small change I also do along with this is untick this option so the add-on does not replace all of the Blizzard's font. The reason for this is that I found the Blizzard font easier to read than LVY. That out of the way, when you get LVY all up and running, you're probably gonna get something confusing and messy like this. Uh, giving you this sort of tutorial, but since you're going to use my profile, you don't need any of this, so you can just click skip. Uh, then after, you can just open LVY from the menu or typing a slash LVY to open the settings. Go to the profiles, import profiles, paste that code that I provided you and you're pretty much done. You get this weak aura tab here, but you can just click the arrow and it goes away. And you're gonna get the classic LVY experience. And if you so wish to disable some aspects like say the chat, which I personally really dislike, just go into the chat tab on the LVY menu and check it and you're done. The same follows for bags if you happen to use other bag add-on like I do, which I use a bag non and it might conflict. As for any other aspects like a character panel like I mentioned before is all on the skins tab here. If you wish to move something is also rather easy you just need to click toggle anchor at the top you're gonna get a grid on your screen and you can easily move around anything that you so wish with your mouse or the little arrow keys for more precision and then just explore the settings as there is a lot here to customize to your liking. But this way you should be all ready to go, you get everything right in the center of the screen uh, without uh, straining your eyes going all over to check all this sort of info. Uh, you get your main bars, uh, these ones down here are hidden to the mouse overs and it's where I keep consumables like flasks and foods, you don't really need to see that all the time. Mounts and profession icons are right next to it, it's also on a mouse over since you don't really need to see them. I have changed the UI a little bit since my guides I place them in such a way that benefits my weak auras more which I'm gonna talk about after but if you don't like that you can easily just move down to the bottom uh, this can also depend on your screen uh, mine is quite large at 27 inches and at 4k uh, to give you some reference so this for me is uh, quite comfortable my party frames are on the side so are the rate frames so don't be alarmed for the overlaps they obviously only show up one at a time I've also included my healing profile as it's slightly different with the raid frames in the center uh, for obvious reasons. I do not use any sort of extra add-on for healing frames. I feel that LVY uh, does good enough job, but if you do not like, I recommend Voodoo as it can present a lot of useful info and make your life easier as a healer. Now that pretty much covers LVY, let's move on to the other very important and popular add-on and weak auras. Uh, throughout Legion, I've used uh, Tell Me When as I found it to be more straightforward and simple, still do, but in BFA I have finally made the switch for, ironically, uh, simplification purposes, since it's highly more popular, I often saw myself 
myself using both, so I used it for raid or dungeon auras that are not so common on Tell Me When, plus there was uh, tons of requests for my auras and it sucked telling people over and over again, oh yeah, this, this is not a weak aura, it's Tell Me When, so you cannot use it. So now I'm fully using weak auras. What type of auras I use and recommend? Well, uh, class or specific ones, obviously. If you don't know what weak auras do, in short, it just allows you to place certain icons or timers, whatever you want, uh, usually on the center of the screen, uh, for the same reasons as before, so you don't have to move your eyes a lot when, say, fighting a boss and you want to check, say, a debuff. Now, weak auras, you can present almost anything that you want in any form that you want. In my case, I'm using Fire Mage as an example, uh, which tells me things such as my cooldown timers, buff durations, duration of fire starter, fire blast CD as well in a form of a bar, and I can really see the cooldown quite detailed, and all of that is super cool and useful, and it fits perfectly with my LVY setup. If you're wondering where I got them, or if I did create them, well, I'm quite lazy when it comes to weak auras, or, or auras in general, so I just go to the wago.io, uh, which is such an amazing place to get any sort of auras, and I got these mage ones from a fine gentleman called Afanar, I think that's how you say it, and they are uh, quite amazing indeed, so thank you a lot for that. To copy them or use uh, these specific auras is really quite simple, just open the link that I provided in the description again, click the copy button on the website, uh, type weak auras in the game, go to a new tab, import, paste import, adjust where you want them, and done. The rogue ones that I have provided are my favorites, they are not from the same website, I found them on reddit, and this guy just makes beautiful auras. I just rogue specs for now, but he's working on more. Uh, the page leads to his Patreon, where you can get instructions to set them up, and just check it out, uh, really amazing stuff. Other weak auras I recommend in terms of uh, generalized ones, I do use uh, for interrupts, so it tells me everyone's CDs on their specific specific interrupts cooldowns, which is quite useful in Dungeons and Mythic Plus. And I have also linked down below auras for all of the BFA dungeons and Uldir, so the first raid. They are not finalized, but remember to favorite them and pick them up once they are fully ready. I have also included my favorite weak auras to some other classes, if not all. Omni CC is another add-on that works great with both LVY and weak auras, in fact, some auras do require it by giving the cooldown numbers in a bit more of a flare. And then after all of these add-ons, you get the typical ones like DBM, uh, boss mods, you probably know all about. Remember that you can move the bars a little bit if you go into uh, slash DBM options and bar setup, and you can just place them wherever you wish, they might conflict with LVY or weak auras placements, so remember that. Uh, Bigwigs is an also another popular boss mod add-on, arguably more detailed, I just use both and change in between, uh, depending on what's more uh, detailed at that point in time. Uh, GTFO is also a pretty solid and simple add-on to use if dealing with mechanics is hard for you, as in uh, standing in fire. As for dungeon type of add-ons, the only one that I do use is angry uh, keystones as it presents some more uh, detailed information about uh, mythic run keys uh, such as timers and percentage and all of that. As for my damage meters, I do use details because I find it to be more detailed than say the popular scatter or recount, so use whichever you prefer. You do get a lot more customization options with details if that's your thing. Then we get to the open world type of add-ons or leveling ones, uh, this can be highly subjective, but for me personally, and what I suggest uh, would be world quest list or world quest tracker, as it tremendously helps organizing and prioritizing certain world quests once you re reach uh, level cap again. And then there's uh, things like handy notes, which doesn't have a BFA version yet, but helps you locate all the chests uh, by placing them throughout the map, so you don't have to actually go out there and find them if that does not interest you. Uh, NPC scan does the same, but for rares uh, with both uh, visual cue and sound effect. 
And then you get to add-ons which helps with leveling in the sense that you can skip a lot of the things such as quest text or cutscenes. I don't use them at all, but might be something that interests you like Azeroth Autopilot and Auto Turn-In, which is pretty self-explanatory in its name. And oh yeah, group finder add-ons. I don't feel so good. Altaholics is also an amazing add-on if you play multiple characters like myself. It can keep track of practically anything that you can imagine on your alts, so like gold, gear, keystones, and etc. And another one that I stand by is a Personal Loot Helper, which is practically a must on this personal loot world we live in now. Essentially, it will detect whenever a piece of gear is not upgraded to yourself and allow other people to roll automatically, so really quite amazing. And finally, we get to add-ons which are mostly related to rating, such as Angry Assignments or Exorces Raid Tools, among others, but these are typically used by most mythic and probably some heroic guilds. Each guild will have their own requirements, but just letting you know of their existence, if you outside of this world, that uh, such add-ons exist. Uh, they can help you setting up notes on the side of the screen to help with mechanics and make things overall more organized or memorable, so to speak, uh, among other things such as keeping track of healing CDs in the raid. So uh, really amazing add-ons for rating. But yeah, that mostly covers all of my add-on list. There's obviously great other add-ons out there, but this is the ones that I use. Just get yourself the Twitch slash curse app to make your life 10 times easier to just download those add-ons much faster and update them whenever there's any update available. For weak auras, remember wago.io, which is an amazing source. And of course, the LVY website. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. Have an amazing time in BFA's launch day and week. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to get more videos like this and check out my Patreon if you wish to support the channel. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.